Today, we're traveling back down to the Caribbean and we're gonna spice things up a bit as I show you how to make these easy, delicious, juicy air fryer jerk chicken wings. They are perfect for any game day gathering. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Two pounds of chicken wings have already been cleaned and soaked in vinegar water. You will need three fourth teaspoon of pink sea salt, one and one half teaspoon of organic ground black pepper, one and one half teaspoon of organic granulated onion powder, one and one half teaspoon of organic granulated garlic, and one and one half teaspoon of organic paprika. Let's pour those in. Next, we'll add one heaping teaspoon of your favorite jerk seasoning brand. I like the Walker's Wood brand, so that's what I use. However, you use whatever works for you. I like my neck a little spicy, so <laughs> I choose the hot and spicy variety. <laughs> but they also have a mild version as well. And if you don't find it near you, I'll put a link down below so that you can get it on Amazon. Add in one level tablespoon of dark brown sugar. Mix well, ensuring that your chicken wings are evenly coated with those delicious jerk seasonings. Great, that actually smells really good. Transfer your seasoned chicken into a lidded container and store it in the refrigerator for two days. I always say that you should try to do it for 48 hours, but if you only have 24 hours, one day is fine. I'm gonna store mine for two days. See you in two days. I actually have an old Quasnart countertop convection oven and it still works. So I simply purchased this rack from Amazon and it allows me to air fry foods. So if you're like me and you just wanna do that, I'll post a link to the rack down below and you can purchase it on Amazon. I'm applying a little coconut oil to the rack so that I can air fry this jerk chicken. I didn't realize that my camera had turned off. <laughs> so what I did was, I set the convection oven to 400 degrees and then I cooked the chicken wings on one side for 15 minutes. Now I'm turning them over and I will cook them on the other side for 10 minutes. I of course cooked a few rounds of chicken so my grate looks crazy, but this chicken tastes darn good. This jerk chicken is so moist and juicy. Oof. I hope you'll love it as much as we do. If you plan on making this recipe, or if you do make this recipe, post a comment down below and let me know how you like it. Also, be sure to check out my air fryer curry fried chicken via the link above. Enjoy! Bye.